Welcome back to the Force Nines YouTube channel and welcome back to the Panini Pack opening series. We are on day 18 and today two more packs. We're going to pick one player for our squad. Uh, last time we picked a Kenyan. Uh, Victor Wanyama joined. Uh, I used one of the host cities or stadiums to pick any player I wanted that didn't have to be even in the World Cup. And I went with Wanyama uh, to get a defensive midfielder. So um, yeah. Uh, it's probably the only Kenya we're going to pick. I don't know if we're if we're actually going to pick any more players like that that aren't even in a team that are in the World Cup. Like we could get some, we could look at some Italians and things like that. But they've got to be thirty million pounds. So that's you know the problem there is that like, you're going to be picking players that aren't uh, well a cheap that aren't going to be amazing but can still maybe do a job. So that's probably the only time I'm going to use that. Although you do get three goes at that, three goes at the badges, three goes at the teams. So. Uh, yeah, um, we went with Ranyama last time. And I think we just had the one duplicate, which is Paz down, so that wasn't too bad. Two more packs today. Here's number one. Let's open it. I'm going to try and make this go a little bit quicker now. Um, we're on day 18. We've got this and then 12 more days to go. So far, I have managed to get it out every day. And the first sticker is an interesting one because it means we can pick any player we want. Because it is a legend sticker and it is the 1930. World Cup winning squad from Uruguay, the first ever World Cup team to win the World Cup. I said World Cup a lot then. So uh, the legend stickers mean that we can pick any player we want. So now you only get one go at this. Uh, and we haven't done it yet. Now we did pick Neymar, but we used that with the Brazil badge. Although we could have done that with one of the, um, it was the, uh, either the ball or the trophy. I think it was the ball. So we could pick whoever we want with that. Sticker number two is the Nigeria squad, which means that we can pick any Nigerian as long as they are in the sticker book. So we can look at someone like Iheanacho or Anazi. Um, there's some good Nigerians we could pick, so that's an interesting sticker as well. It is, however, a sticker we already have, so uh, it's a duplicate. Sticker number three in the first pack is Mbe Nyang from Senegal uh, and plays for... Uh, I did see, but I've forgotten in that short time that I showed it. Torino in Italy. So that's Mbe Niang. He's decent. Uh, oh wow, okay, this pack gets better and better. Uh, now, as I've said, we have Aguero and Mbaka as our forwards. Uh, we have ourselves a Uruguayan. Uh, Luis Suarez is there. Focus, Luis. Focus. There he is. Barcelona, Uruguay, ex-Liverpool, because the last World Cup got into a bit of trouble. So hopefully something that, that doesn't happen again. Uh, the fifth and final player, I think this one's a duplicate, it's a Korean playing for Alderheil, Nam Tae-hee. I think he's a duplicate. He is. So two dupes in that pack, not great, but we've got some amazing players. Mbae Niang's a decent attacking player, we've got Suarez, and we've got that 1930 squad, which means we can pick whoever we want. Pack number two, let's open it, and let's see who is going to be in this one. That was a nice clean open, that one. Uh, we start off player number one. It's a duplicate. It's Adam Lallana of England and Liverpool. We already have him. Number two is uh, an Iranian. I think we've only got a couple of Iranians. Plays for Persepolis in Iran. Uh, Yalal Hosseini. Uh, red means he's a defender. Uh, I don't know him. Uh, yeah, one of the few Iranians we have. Uh, I think it's another duplicate. It is. That's the fourth duplicate in two packs. Korean and Premier League midfielder uh, Son Heung Min, Tottenham Hotspur, of course. There he is. Uh, he was one of the very first tickets we got because he was part of the book. Uh, number four is a Polish midfielder from Sampdoria, Karol Linetti. I don't think we have him. I don't recognise him. And the fifth and final player is another duplicate. It's a Colombian goalkeeper, David Ospina. So uh, five duplicates. Half of the stickers in those two packs were duplicates. That's pretty disappointing. But the legend sticker, this one, means we can pick whoever we want. So, who am I going to pick? Uh, before we pick who we want, because I'm going to use this sticker, who wouldn't? Uh, we are going to uh, have a look at the players that we got that aren't duplicates and see what they're like. So, that includes Linetti, Hosseini, Niang and Suarez. That's pretty, well, just four new players. At least it won't be a longer video. So, Carol Linetti, the pole, is a central midfielder. What's the box midfielder? Carolera, Mazzala. Um, we've had a lot of those. Guys like Henderson, and Patton and Golan, and Milikovic Savic, and all those. Uh, this guy, as a Carolera, it's got 14 tackling, which isn't too bad. Good passer of the ball. 
determination's good. Uh, very good work rate. Brilliant teamwork. Stamina is excellent. Um, yeah, he's good. Linetti. Uh, only he's got 15 caps of Poland. He's 22 years old. Bright future ahead of him, I think. Could very well be a mainstay in the Poland team for years to come. Yalal Hosseini as a 35-year-old centre-back. He's been capped 99 times for Iran in game. Uh, and he, yeah, as a centre-back, 13 mark, head in, 15 marking, 15 tackling. Um, physically, he's still decent for a 35-year-old. He's still got, well, he's not slow. He's a, but, you know, mentals are good as well. Determination of 15 and 14 position is decent. Everywhere else is a bit lacking there, but... Um, Jumping reach isn't brilliant, so he's not going to be very good in the heading department. Although his heading's 13, he can't jump. Mbappe Yang is a left-sided inside forward. We have Neymar in that department. Um, pace is good, um, good off the ball. Dribbling is not bad. Other than that, yeah. Uh, loan from Milan, join him permanently for Torino. So there you go. And then Luis Suarez, complete forward, 18 on dribbling and finishing. Um, passing is 16, technique 17, determination, flair, composure, physically very strong. Um, he's amazing. Uh, but we have Sergio Aguero up top, so uh, we don't really have a need for Spires, or do we? I mean, do we really make it that strong that we have one of those two on the bench? That's pretty crazy. Unless we go two up top, which I don't really want to do. Essentially, We've got a Barcelona front three if we pick Suarez. We'll have Neymar, Suarez and Dembele. So we're just missing Messi and we'd have pretty much all of their attacking force. That would be insane. But I'm not going to pick Suarez. I'm going to use the legend sticker. And I'm going to pick myself a good centre-back. At the moment, we have uh, Rafa Varane and Pepe. Two Real Madrid centre-backs. Although Pepe is a bit old for my liking. So we're going to get someone else for alongside Varane and we'll have Pepe as you know maybe maybe a rotation option or a backup option now i do want this to be from someone who's from kind of a a different nation not france we, you know, we've got two french people already we've got two belgians as well i like the look of koulibaly 25 senegal um i i like the look of him and we don't have a senegalese player in fact well apart from wanyama he's the uh, the first african player we got so um i think i'm going to pick uh, koulibaly Napoli centre back, Senegal, 16 heading, 16 marking, 16 tackling, uh, 6 determination, 16 positioning, 19 strength. He's a, he's a good central defender, he's very, very good. So uh, I'm going to pick Kaludu Kudabali. That was a lot easier than some of the other ones have been. Even though we've got guys like Spires and Son, Kudabali is going to be the go go with because I think we needed a better centre back than Pepe, who's um, getting a bit aged now. So that is player number 18, which means that, in theory now, we should have an 11 and 7 substitutes. Um, although, we have one goalkeeper, uh, we could maybe... Like, like, we want two people in every position at the very least, and then maybe one more midfielder, one more centre-back. Uh, maybe a third goalkeeper, who knows. But when we get to like, the last couple of days, you know, we're going to have 10 players to choose from, and like one position might need filling. So... We want like at least two of every position and then a third in most of them, I think. But today, um, pretty simple decision for us. Koulibaly at centre-back is who we're going to pick. That's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like down below, leave comments. And if you want to see videos as and when they turn up on YouTube, do hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you tomorrow for day 19 and uh, we'll pick another player. And you know the drill now. We're more than halfway through this thing. So, uh, you know... I think from now, we're just going to go straight through it. I'm not going to talk too much. And we'll just pick players out of the pack. Show them to you and then look at them on the game. I'm not going to go... F I'm, I'm, I'm going to try and shorten them a bit. But we've got a shiny sticker. Half of those stickers were duplicates, which is really disappointing. Um, five dupes out of ten stickers is pretty sucky. But, you know, we're getting to the point now. Like, I don't know. I've opened over 150 stickers now. So... You're going to start seeing more and more duplicates as it goes on. Never mind, um, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. I will see you soon. Goodbye.